In this video, I'm going to show you how I use my brand supplier, Automatcher, to take um, all the private brands from Target and automatically determine which of those brands are also found on Amazon. And I did that automatically and in bulk with the system. Now, the system is originally designed to take Amazon brands and to match them to potential uh, suppliers. But in this video, I actually did it in reverse, where I actually scraped the brands from uh, Target's website, the private brands, and then I'm actually searching these brands to see if they show up on Amazon. So I'm actually doing the process in reverse, and the system can be used this way. The only thing is, in order to do this from a supplier, you do need to have some kind of list of the brands from that supplier, in this case, uh, a CSV list that I created. So what I will do is, if you get the system through uh, a link in the description of this video, I will also not only give you the system, but I will also give you this CSV list of all the target private brands, which then you will be able to um, implement and follow me step by step and actually do the process with me of matching these onto Amazon. And of course, that's going to be really useful for you in sourcing products from Target to sell onto Amazon. So do stick around for the rest of this video so that you can really see in detail this whole uh, uh, system as well as the uh, process of researching these supplier brands. So here I am on Target.com and I'm on a page that has a list of all of Target's private brands. And normally if I wanted to then research these brands on Amazon or really just to even see if they're uh, present on Amazon, I would have to highlight these brands and check them manually, individually one by one, checking to see if I get product results on Amazon. Now, um, really another way you can do that which sort of works pretty well as well is that you can just ser uh, Google search that brand name and normally if that brand is on Amazon you'll get a result like this where you see the brand name a new day clothing shoes and jewelry in this case amazon.com right and if you click on that it'll probably uh, take you to a lot of their products right so that's another way that you can get to see if the products are on Amazon now, um, doing that manually, however, for so many brands, and keep in mind, not all of these brands are going to end up being on Amazon. I mean, it's possible, but oftentimes some of these brands might not be. All right, so uh, you do really want to actually check all of them to see if they're on Amazon. Now, I have solved that problem uh, using the Amazon brand supplier automatcher system and I'm going to explain how I did that a little more but first of all the first problem that has to be taken care of is getting the brand names these private brands from Target into a list because you can't highlight them they're separated by images and by text and descriptions so what I did using computer code is I was able to scrape these brands into a CSV so here is a CSV of the Target private brands Okay, so it's a CSV of the Target private brands. And what I will now do is go on to back onto this uh, system, Google Sheet system. And I'm going to bring those that CSV in here. Now I actually could just copy and paste uh, from that CSV here, but rather um, if you're not able to do that, in fact you really don't need to. What we'll do rather is go to the Keepa CSV sheet. And yes, this is normally for a Keepa. Uh, file, but it doesn't really matter, um, and I'll explain why in a moment. So just go to File and Import, and I'll show you what I mean. Go to Upload, select a file from your device. If you have that Target Private Brands list, well, I happen to have it right here in my download, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to replace the current sheet and import that list. Now, all that is required is that the column heading at the top says brand, because the way that this brings in the brand's data is that it looks for that column heading called brand. I'm just going to click and move those over. That can happen on occasion, and if you just use the right click, you can just move these buttons. Google Sheets doesn't lock them all the time. Now, uh, now that I have this list of brands with the word brand at the top, I'm going to simply import the brands from Keepa CSV and it will just copy those brands right in here and now I have a copy of those brands alright and um, at this point 
I'm not even looking at this stuff yet, right? This is like the semi-automated part uh, where I check it for approval and things like that. Uh, I'm not even doing that yet. I just want to see if I can match these. Now, um, if you have a previous copy, I'm going to take a look at the suppliers list for a moment. If you have a previous copy, you may not have Amazon.com on your list, right? And it is possible to add it. However, um, you could add it. You could go control down and add um, Amazon or, and I have two of them, or other suppliers of your own onto the list. You can do that. But um, basically, the best thing to do is to get this latest copy. If you already have a copy of this, then uh, you're fine. Um, I'll send you an updated copy. All right. If you get the copy, if you get the system now, you're going to get the latest copy. All right, automatically, the latest copy will be updated on the website when you download it. So now, what I'm going to do is click on Auto Match Suppliers, because what happens is that this new version 3.0 matches a lot better than the two previous ones that I put out. All right, the two or three previous versions. So um, you're going to want this version, and the difference is that it no longer places a formula inside the sheet when it does the auto matching. So it might be a little slower, but the supplier results are a lot better as it goes through search engines in the quote unquote brain of the program and uh, tries to get results, tries harder, so to speak, to get results, and then takes time to report those results to the spreadsheet brand by brand. So it is a bit slower, but the results are a lot better. And you'll see that it has shown me that these brands, so far, all of them are coming up being at Target.com. And what I did here, by the way, I should have explained, is I really am doing using the system in reverse. So normally the Amazon brands are here, and then we locate uh, match suppliers to those Amazon brands. What I did here is I put the Target brands, the supplier brands from Target, on this side. And now I'm matching them to see if they show up on Amazon. That's what I'm looking for. However, it will also show me if possibly uh, the brands show up at another supplier. Even though these are private brands, there is that possibility. But it could also just be uh, because of a similar brand name on those other sites or something. There might be different reasons why these other suppliers come up. But I'm not concerned with those. I'm really only looking for Amazon. That's really it. I know that they're from Target. And clearly, Target.com will show up for these Target brands. But what I'm really looking for is to see which of these will show up also at Amazon.com. So let's go ahead and take a look, right? Here's one that shows up at both Target and Amazon. And what I'd like to show you, this is the New Day brand. If I were to Google this brand, and I'll use that automated uh, link, you'll see that it does show up at Target.com. This is what happens when you Google a brand name. But you also see, as I demonstrated before, that it shows up at Amazon. And that's why here you see that it shows up at Target and it also tells you Amazon, right? It found some other things in between, but Target and Amazon, right? This other brand, All in Motion, okay? Um, shows up at Target. And we see it shows up at Walmart. And then we see an actual product that shows up at Amazon as well. Right, so let's actually see what happens when I open that. Now, I'm only, it's only showing me one product. If I click on the brand, I could see if I see more. And yeah, there are more products uh, of this brand, right? The All in Motion. Okay, so um, trying to get back to where I was. Okay. All right. Occasionally, some might be not found. I see this not found is uh, going across that way. Um, okay. When you get the copy, it might be changed back to how it was, where it just says not found here. Instead of being spread out, not found. I mean, either way, I guess it's okay, as long as you can see it. But uh, but anyway, so this does it's spell out not found across if it wasn't found. Now, sometimes, I mean, it, it might be so that the fault of the program in that moment, so to speak. But... Uh, it's way better than before. Uh, there are a lot less not founds than I might have seen before. But you still might get an occasional not found like this. All right, um, Something like this. I would just check it manually. 
uh, with the Google. That's why the system is semi-automated. You can still check things uh, manually. I have those links there to make it more convenient. And you can still check it for yourself and see that it's on Amazon. All right, you see that the Good and Gather is on Amazon. Click these results. And I do see some Good and Gather brand here. And then, I mean, if anything, you can just manually... Uh, I'm going to highlight this and delete it. And I'll just manually put in what I know is correct, which is Target and Amazon. All right? Which I know is what it should be. Right? But as you can see, most of these are coming out with no problem at all. We don't, we're not getting that not found result. But if you do get one... Just check it manually, but um, way less not founds than the previous version. Okay, a lot less not founds on these brands. All right, so this is basically it. Now, it's going to take a while for it to populate completely, and it may even time out. If it times out, meaning that it just stops, it, it, it Google Sheets has a limit to how long it can run something like this. You'll just go back to auto match and start all over again. And what will happen is that now it knows how to pick up at the last uh, open space. All right, so I've now programmed it to detect the last row of data. So it's going to go through and try to find that last row. And it's going to pick up from there. And also, it's not going to go past the last row of brand either. So it's not going to like go past here and keep going like it would do before and just kind of hang out. It's going to stop when it gets to the last row. Uh, row in that brand as long unless you start adding brands like in the middle of the process but I don't imagine you'd be doing that but as long as you just leave it and let it do its thing um, it, it'll stop at that last brand all right and again you can always just do restart the auto match all right if you want to just try one row um, if for some reason there's just one brand here that you want to look at you can just do this match suppliers this row and it will just check this individual row. So, so here we see the exceeded maximum execution time. So this is just because Google Sheets cannot keep programs running, uh, those kind of functions running for a long time. Here are the results for this one. Notice threshold, we get this, but we also have Target and Amazon. So when this happens, what I'm going to do is simply start again. All right, now, normally I wouldn't like to skip that way I'm going to actually delete that I'm going to click on auto match suppliers and it will restart again but first it's got to find the last row so it might need a moment to do that and the deeper in I am on the sheet the longer it might take for me to do that so now I wouldn't suggest trying to do like 10,000 brands at once um, and I'm really using that number literally I wouldn't try to do that many I wouldn't even try to do thousands at a time uh, due to this um, Google Sheets resource limitations, right? I mean, so, I, I mean, uh, you know, you just try to be reasonable with the usage. Keep in mind, Google Sheets is free, right? So they don't provide a lot of extra resources. I do pay, actually, for a special uh, Google account where I, it has a little more, but still, it still times out and things like that. But that allows me to uh, be better at making these uh, programs for you by me actually paying for a, a special type of Google account with the domain, special domain and all that. All right. So um, basically, that's, you know, something to keep in mind. Right. Now, uh, what you would want to then do from this point is to start looking at the ones that say Target and Amazon and say, okay, now you want to, you're going to have to manually uh, check these brands as far as the um, approval. Great thing is, once you're signed into your Amazon seller account, there's a link to Seller Central right here, which is going to make it very nice and easy. I see Target, and, and really, by the way, let me show you this feature first. Uh, this feature, enter supplier domain below. This was here on the previous version. This is where you're going to type in the domain. Now, we know that these brands are from Target. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for Amazon.com. So you want to type in the Amazon.com into this box. And what's going to happen is wherever Amazon shows up, it's going to say found. So now these green uh, found brands, uh, Amazon, that were found uh, at Amazon, these are the brands that I'm now going to check. All right? I'm going to put my most attention to immediately. So I'm going to start 
check in the catalog with this first one, for instance, a new day, right? I see the products. I see that I have approval to sell it, right? And then I can take a note on that, right? That, yes, I have approval, and I can start typing these things in, right? I can check the all in motion now. I can check, um, in fact, I will check it. I'm going to check the catalog for that. Uh, I don't think this brand has a lot of products because when I first checked it in the catalog, I thought it wasn't even on Amazon, so I was surprised to even see that they had any products on Amazon. Uh, but in this case, what I would do is then use the search Amazon link, this one here, which will actually search all in motion on the actual Amazon uh, here, but I'm still not really seeing those all in motion products. So then, the other thing I can try is Google. Uh, and to find that actual all in motion brands, okay, that just says t shirt, but let me see. Uh, I think I was just here, all right? And then I see some related items, all right? And now, once I get one product, all I have to do is click the brand name that comes up onto that product title, and now I'm on all the different results for all in motion, all right? So now I really have some products I can look at. Uh, for this brand to see if I can, um, you know, find them at Target or whatever, see if they're, you know, see what happens with those brands. All right, so that is the idea. So we did find that brand there. So um, that's basically how you would use this. Oh, right, but there's actually, <laughs> sorry, uh, the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to check the uh, approval of the products and now with my Chrome extension I see that I have approval instantly but if you don't have the Chrome extension um, you're going to take the ASIN from here copy it and bring it over to the catalog and just paste that ASIN in here right and search it okay now you see the all in motion now as far as the all in motion not showing up let me try the clothes and shoes ah that's what it was so I needed to click on clothes and shoes and jewelry <laughs> Alright, uh, if I had clicked on that earlier, I would have seen the All in Motion products here in the catalog. So I didn't. I forgot to click on the category, right? So home, if you know it's a clothing category, uh, then click clothing. If you know it's electronics, so on and so forth, you can kind of narrow it and it's easier to find uh, the products that way. So now I can find the All in Motion products right here in the catalog. I don't even have to navigate um, this, but that was good for you to see the different ways uh, that you can get to the products of that brand. All these different ways, of, you have all these different ways through Google, through the Amazon search page, right, through that brands link right here on the catalog. You have these different ways to get to the products, all right? Um, so now this is a brand that you know you can sell, you have approval and all that. You don't see the IP risk showing up. Um, but these private brands, you're usually pretty good, I believe. Uh, product results, you know, I did see some results, you know, if you want to write anything about that. Don't expect the brand to be a seller. Uh, don't expect them to have a store page. Don't necessarily always have to record every single thing that's here. Um, you know, it's just here more as a reminder of that these are things to look at. But not necessarily that you have to, you know, take so much time writing all these things down. You know, that's up to you, um, you know. But uh, definitely, if there is an IP risk, you should just put yes. But if there's not an IP risk, maybe you just want to leave a blank to save yourself the extra type in work. You know, you don't have to do as much typing that way. Okay, let's check this brand, Archer Farms, right? And again, I I know that, oh, okay, I'm kind of, I've seen this brand. I know it's like a grocery brand, so I'm going to click on grocery, you know, and then, all right, I might see more, see, of their products in here in grocery, right? I know I can sell it. I have approval to sell grocery. You might not. If you don't, then it's going to tell you you don't have approval. But it's not the brand that's the problem. It's the fact that it's grocery. So understand we have brand approval and then we have category approval. Those are two different approvals, right, uh, that you have to have. So the brand, I'm approved for the brand, but maybe you're not approved for the category, right? Okay, and uh, if you want to take a look at products, of course, you can open these products. You know, and then you can start trying to see if you can even reverse search some of these products um, by title. Uh, see if you can reverse search them back to Target, right? Um, I don't see this even showing up. Uh, on target at all, right? Um, but clearly, I mean, Archer Farms is a brand on target. But anyway, you know that can happen. Um, 
and that's basically actually what I would suggest even uh, is that okay we know the brand is approved on Amazon we know it's on Amazon based on this system we know it's approved and all that you can then go to Target and actually just search um, or and I'm using Target as an example whatever the supplier you're dealing with right and you, you're gonna deal with that supplier and um, you can go to that brand's products I'm gonna try shop Archer Farms right and just only look at their products okay that brand of products and then try to see if you can find uh, and they're not many not many showed up all right so for instance I could do Archer Farms okay only four results okay and then try to match them all right hopefully you get more results than just four different brands you're gonna get different results and then you try to match them back at Amazon and I do have a system for that the uh, which unfortunately I don't have open right now but it's a uh, supplier to Amazon automatic matcher you'd have to watch a whole video on it because that's a, it's a whole another process to use that system but with that system you're gonna be able to go to the supplier pull up products and then try to and then match those products uh, automatically in bulk okay it's gonna match the products similarly how it matches brands and suppliers here that system is gonna match products from the supplier to products on Amazon right the actual products so um, you can use that system um, when you're ready to find the actual products but mainly here what I wanted to show you is this process where in bulk I've got these brands all these brands from Target and in bulk I'm able to check these brands using web searches to see if amazon.com is showing up as a result on these brands meaning that the brand is most likely found on Amazon all right so um, this is gonna be of course powerful provided that you can get a list of brands from your supplier provided that you can get a list of brands from a supplier that is really the challenge um, on different suppliers the lists are provided in different ways um, and a lot of times so maybe I might even want to look at um, let's even just look if I can look at another uh, supplier for instance I could show you what I mean I think I'll do it in another video but um, their brands might be separated differently alright and they may have way more brands so I'll do other videos and what I'll do is I can provide uh, it does take me some work to get these brands off of certain websites um, but I can provide those uh, brands lists, complete brands lists from uh, various suppliers, and then you'll have th these brands lists, and you'll be able to bring them in here, right? You get the system, and you'll be able to automatically check, see if Amazon.com is showing up. You put Amazon.com in here, you see if the brand is showing up on a Amazon, right? And this works for any website. If you put Target.com in here, it's going to check and see uh, which show up at Target. It should be all of them because they're all from Target, but for some reason this one is off. Okay, but you see that almost all of them showed up. Okay, they're just a few that for some reason, all right, didn't work out um, on the web search. So, but what you're dealing with here is majority, right? You're dealing with well the majority uh, of results that is given me in a short time that I didn't have to manually go through all these. So if it misses a few. I'm not worrying about it missing a few that I can just go check manually or whatever, see what's going on with those. But um, it just found like 50 or for me. It found like 50 and only left out like three, four, five, right? Six, you know. And actually, it's just that sometimes they're not on Amazon. All right. Well, I put Target here anyway, but I was looking at the Target. But even if I'm looking at Amazon.com, some of these might or might not even be on Amazon. That is a possibility. Uh, let's check this brand art class which um, I don't know I mean I'm assuming it's like arts crafts and sewing but if I go to arts crafts and sewing and I still don't see it uh, perhaps this brand is just not it just it must it's quite possibly not on Amazon if I really want to explore further to really see uh, Google search is a great way to go about this and to go down and really look and see if it shows up on Amazon. I see a Skillshare. You see why that came up. 
I didn't realize Skillshare was on my supply list. So we don't see an Amazon link here at all. Right? So it makes perfect sense. There's no Amazon link in here. So it makes perfect sense that it was not found on Amazon. Right? There's no Amazon result here. Because when you Google it for yourself, it's not there. So is brand on Amazon? I'm going to say no. It truly is not on Amazon. Yes, the system is here to help me do that. But I am making the final decision on that. When I put no, brand on Amazon, no. All right? Okay, if I want to check these other ones manually, I can do the same thing. Like Brightroom, if I, if I don't trust the system, or if I just want to double-check a result, not that I don't trust it, but I want to double-check a few that didn't come out with anything. Okay, here's another one. You don't see, uh, well, yes, this one does have a result on Amazon. Uh, I want to check one of these products. But I see the problem is that whoever put this brand onto Amazon, they did not put a space Okay, uh, so I don't know if that's the issue, but no, because this doesn't have a space either. Okay, so maybe not. So for some reason it was missed, which it's it was missed in the web search or didn't show up on those web searches. But in fact, we do see products of this brand Brightroom on Amazon. So here's one where I want to correct and say, yes, uh, the brand is on Amazon in this case, right? So basically the ones that say found... They're on Amazon because it's not going to just say found just because. It's not going to say found unless it finds Amazon links. All right? So when it says found, it, it's it's there. Um, all right? When it, when it finds Amazon in here, which is what this means, all right? It means Amazon was there. When it says not found, I might question it and just double check it, right? I have that option to do that, and that's basically the point here. Okay, and then of course I'd want to check the catalog uh, for approval on the brand um, to see if I have approval. And I see that I do have approval to sell that brand. So I'm going to say yes. Now, at some point after you've done what you've felt like you needed to do with this, and um, there are just so many brands, right? There's just so many of them uh, to check and to do products for. It's just don't overwhelm yourself. Just pick. A certain number of brands you want to go through from Target for the day, and a category that are in the categories you can sell, and just uh, check them out, see, check your approval, and try to reverse search them, see if you can find products, and just take your time and, and try to find whatever you can find. All right, and you move on to the next one. You're not gonna do you know this many brands in one hour, right? Um, now, um. I mean, as far as what I'm doing right now, yes, you could do that. But as far as like actually finding products from all these brands, you know, you, it's gonna you have to do it over the course of time, right? Now, um, one last thing I really want to point out is the export, right? What you want to do is really export this data because the thing is, now, I mean, you could keep doing file, make a copy, and just create like a million copies of the system. And I'm exaggerating when I say a million, but you could do file, make a copy. Um, and keep starting with a blank copy, and that way you could say, well, this is the target copy, uh, target private brand copy. You could even put that in the file name so you can remember what it is. All right, so I would keep this part the same and just put it at the end, like you see I did here with the word demo. You can put target uh, brands, um, you know, something like that, and just save it and just keep coming back to it and working with it. Okay, that's actually, I think, a very good idea. And then you can go file, make another copy for another store, uh, clear it, on that copy, clear everything with the clear Keepa, clear brands, and, and all that, and then work uh, from that file. So that's something you can do with the Google Sheet. It's so easy to just keep making a copy. All right, uh, but you also have this option of export sheet, which I just clicked export data, and it will go to this export sheet over here, and it will save for you everything uh, that you would have typed in in here, and also it will save the suppliers as well. All right, and it's neater because you don't have all the things uh, in between that I have here. All the links, all those things are gone, right? It's just leaving you the data, right? So it's going to be a lot cleaner. Um, and then with this, now you have a kind of a database of these, uh, you know, site brand results and all of that that you can work with. And from here, you could actually download this to a CSV if you wanted to. You could go file, download. CSV or PDF, Excel, whatever you want to do. You could also right-click on the sheet down here, and you could go copy to a new spreadsheet and turn this into a new spreadsheet. 
right? So you have all these different options of what you can do with this. So I think this is, you know, can be really useful if you, as long as you can get a list of brands from the supplier, you'll be able to use this method of reversing the system, put in the supplier brands on this side, and then put an M, and then just doing the, the normal auto match, and then checking to see which have Amazon in here, right, in the suppliers list, which are actually all you have to do is type Amazon.com in this box, and it's going to light those up for you, right, and say found, so you know where Amazon.com is, and, and that's really going to be the power of the system. However, I'm going to help you in uh, this um, whole endeavor by working on getting brands list for suppliers. It is going to be significant work for me to do. So, I, but I will do that, um, and there may be a small charge for these brands lists, but they will help you with uh, especially difficult uh, suppliers. Certain suppliers are difficult to find products uh, on Amazon. All right, there's some suppliers that is, is, if you just go through their site, it's really difficult. Okay, and it can kind of help with that in matching uh, the brands onto Amazon. But you need a uh, complete list like this, okay, of the brands from those suppliers in order to do that. All right, so that is something I'll be working on. Um, and possibly there may even already be a link in the description of this video for you to get some of those uh, supplier lists, uh, supplier brands uh, lists. So now, um, you can get a copy of the system, as I said, and uh, if you already have a previous version of this very same system, you can contact me. I will send out, try to send out an update, but if you didn't check off to get an update on the website, um, you're not going to automatically get the updates. But you can contact me and I will give you one. You just tell me the email address that you used, right, as usual. And I will give you this most latest updated copy because I just want you to have it. I want you to try this for yourself and see how it works. It, it's matching suppliers way better than the previous version, just the, the, the approach. And now you don't have the formula. So you don't really even have to stamp these uh, per se anymore, but the button is still there. But um, it's just it just works so much better than it did before. But anyway, just see the the bottom the description of this video and just see the links and read them so you understand what's going on because I can't think of everything to say right now. Uh, but you can contact me directly, which is uh, my contact is in the in that description. Um, I am Mr. Mark, so for Amazon, and I do look forward to hearing from you or seeing you around here on the channel.